Bye bye. Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then welcome. If you've never seen my face before then my name's Olivia and I post videos every Saturday and apparently sometimes on Thursdays, so we'll see how that goes. As you can probably tell by somewhere a little bit different today, I'm going to be organising all of this and hopefully chucking a fair bit out. I think I'm going to have to be quite brutal because I just had no idea how many clothes I actually had until I kind of grouped them all together. I know that I definitely need to sort out my jackets and jumpers and everything because they're meant to be on the rail in there. I don't know how well you can actually see that, but there's a rail in the cupboard under the stairs, but there's not enough space on it for all my jumpers and jackets and coats and stuff. So I've literally just been hanging them up on the door and leaving them <laughs> for the last couple of weeks while I've been in lockdown and like not really properly tidying those away. And then in this big box here, which, oh, that's heavy. This is like kind of all my summer clothes, but also I've got a lot of my summer clothes in here as well. So this is um, just a two level clothes rail. But yeah, there's all of these and then pretty much the same again. And these clothes need to go on here too. So I don't really know how this is going to work because I don't think I've got enough space to kind of hang everything up. And I definitely don't have anywhere else to put the clothes in here. So once the jumpers and jackets are in here, these are going to have to find somewhere else to live. I'm also very low on hangers. I think I've got one hanger and I can't even see it so I don't know where that's gone. Let's go. The other thing is, I don't really know where I'm going to put my bikinis or anything. So there's like random sportswear and like comfy clothes in here. And I've got a pile of sportswear and comfy clothes on the bed already because I don't really know where to put those. And I think I'm just going to carry on piling those up on the bed. And then I'll probably just make a pile of bikinis next to it. I don't know. But... Grab yourself a cup of tea, because hopefully you guys won't be here for too long, but I'm definitely going to be here for a while. I think this is definitely going to take all day, so wish me luck. I don't really know where to put things. I think I might just kind of pile everything up onto the floor here and like sort out bikinis and gym wear from the summer clothes in here. And then I will put like all my jumpers and coats and jackets and everything into this box and then I can sort this stuff out and get it hung up. What I might do is I've got a, some boxes under my bed with like my pyjamas and stuff in and one of them's got all my work uniform in so I might put all of that in this box if there's space because obviously I'm not working at the moment and I really don't think that I'm going to be going to work anytime soon. If you have been here for a while then you will recognise what I'm wearing. I'm sorry if you're bored of seeing these um, trousers but they are so comfy. I've literally just been living in them throughout lockdown so. I really don't know why I've got so much gym stuff because I haven't been to the gym since like September. I went through a phase of going to the gym loads. And then we went on holiday and when we came back from the holiday I literally just didn't go back to the gym. I've also got a lot of swimwear. Like who needs? This is all swimwear. And there's already like a massive pile on the bed. But that is actually one thing that I said to myself this like summer that I wasn't going to get any more swimwear because I just have so much already. Um, another reason I wanted to get this kind of all sorted out is because I've got a pretty little thing delivery, hopefully coming today or tomorrow. So that video should be up on Saturday, as long as it arrives, otherwise I have no idea what video is gonna be up on Saturday. There we go. The box is empty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making such 
a mess. So now I'm going to put all of my like winter clothes, mainly my like jackets and coats and stuff that I'm not going to be wearing over summer into this box and hopefully they'll all fit. I'm kind of nervous that they won't. Um, so I think we'll start with the ones on the door because they're kind of bugging me about the fact that they're just like on top of me. Obviously we're still in England, it's not very warm. So some of these will be staying out, so then I can just wear them. But I do also have quite a few that are like quite thick jumpers. Um, and at the moment, this has pretty much been... I think I've, there's been like three or four jumpers that I've been wearing in lockdown. But this one has just been on repeat. It's so comfy. I think both of this jumper and these trousers are now like not sold on Misguided anymore. Um, but I will try and find things as similar as possible because I know this jumper especially has been sold on quite a few different sites and Pretty Little Thing also do trousers that match this jumper which I was quite tempted to buy but then I was like oh would I actually ever wear those I mean I'd probably get quite a lot of wear out of them right now but I think after lockdown when are you going to wear like fluffy trousers so yeah, I didn't get those. But if you want to find out what I did get from Pretty Little Thing, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button because there is a Pretty Little Thing haul coming on Saturday. And I've also done one already, so I'll leave that up here. Is it that side? This is one of my absolute favourite jackets. It's from Misguided. And I'm definitely keeping that. So that's going in this big box. And hopefully it will come out again next, I don't know, winter. I really love this, but I just think it just ne it's never fit me in quite the way that I want it to. It's just a bit big. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I've literally just broken one of my hangers. Like, I'm short on hangers already. It's not okay. You can't just be going around breaking them. Okay, I've put all of my coats and jumpers and everything that I'm keeping into here. I haven't got rid of all that many, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to have to be a bit more brutal and just kind of go through and be like, okay, I really don't wear that. I think now I'm going to go and get all of like my winter clothes out of here and put them in this box as well. Hopefully they'll fit. There's a bit more space. Um, it's definitely not going to be enough room for my uniform as well. But that's fine. I can just stay under my bed for now. I'm just going to have to try and squish everything up here. There's a bit more space on the rail in there. But it's just more so you can kind of like move things now. And obviously everything fits on it. So yeah, let's start with this stuff. So I've obviously just put the camera up onto the tripod, the box is just here, and hopefully you can see the kind of two levels a bit better now. I think I'm gonna leave like going out stuff on here just to be kind of optimistic. I literally never wear this, but I just kind of, nah, it's going. It's gonna be brutal, it's going. I've literally got two shirts that basically the exact same. So, I'll get rid of that one. If anyone's wondering how I get things down from up here, I've got this magic little hook thing. I feel like I'm going to mess it up now that I'm on camera. Oh, <sighs> such talent. I think that is pretty much everything that I want to put into the box to go into the cupboard, like all my winter stuff. Um, let's see if I can lift it. Actually, I feel like it's lighter now, probably because the coats and everything take up a lot more room. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, it's pretty full. So I think I'm gonna pop that in the cupboard and then I've got a bit more space in here. It closes, which is always a good sign. The pile of clothes I'm getting rid of isn't, that big still um 
I feel like I could, should probably go through this stuff again. Oh, I just find it so hard to get rid of clothes. Obviously I haven't done the top level yet. I've just taken out a top that I wanted to put in with my winter clothes. But I do also still have the massive pile of clothes on the floor, which needs to go up here. And I've also got a pile of swimming costumes that I don't know what to do with. And then a pile of gym stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Because I kind of want to get back into going to the gym. Obviously gyms aren't open or anything at the moment. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. But I don't want to chuck out all of my gym stuff and then get back into going to the gym. I think there's definitely more on the floor that I can kind of comfortably let go of there's actually some pairs of jeans that i'm gonna put into the winter box on the floor so i'll do that now so then i can just put the box in the cupboard and it's done um but i literally have three pairs of exactly the same skinny jeans but i wear them at work all the time so i'm just gonna chuck them in this box for like now um and i'll put my black jeans in as well actually I'm going to get rid of those black jeans because I always wear my mum jeans and I don't really wear those to work because they're not very comfortable. My problem is there's quite a lot of like nice dresses and like um, like evening stuff which I absolutely love and like haven't had much opportunity to wear. I like this dress that was in my misguided haul. Uh, but um when am I going to wear it? But I don't want to get rid of it. So, that's staying. To be honest, a lot of the stuff that I've got left in here, I do actually wear quite often. I might get rid of these jeans because I've never really loved the wash of them. They're just quite blue for me. And they have quite a big bum rip, so they're not the most wearable jeans. Okay, the box is in the cupboard, along with my suitcases and the bag that I was meant to be taking travelling. Obviously that's not happening, so... Alright, let's get started on the second level. It's kind of hard with some of these things, because I haven't worn them yet, because obviously it hasn't been summer yet. So I don't know whether I will wear them in summer. So I might have to do another declutter in like September, Oct October, yeah, September, October kind of time. And then I can kind of chuck out things that I've not worn over the summer. Um, I mean, I don't feel like I've chucked out all that much today, but I did do a declutter, not including like the box and stuff only a couple weeks ago and I think I've got about five or six bags of clothes that are in my sister's room that I'm like getting rid of so I need to sort those out and obviously you're gonna add this to those and I probably will chuck out some bikinis because I've got a lot of those that's kind of like overwhelming the amount that just kind of sat there staring at me. These shorts I've literally had for about two years and I've never worn them and I keep just being like oh maybe I'll wear them maybe I'll wear them and I don't so they're gone I absolutely love this skirt comment down below if you want me to do a Shein haul I'm basically just making more excuses to buy more clothes not that I really need any more excuses or need any more clothes but I might actually put any like mini dresses and stuff that I'm not gonna wear anytime soon onto the rail in there if they're like short enough and then they're just kind of out of the way and there's a bit more space on this rail okay we're doing pretty good in terms of wardrobe now it's just the kind of pile on the floor i think i'm going to probably be chucking out more of this stuff than the stuff that's in my wardrobe because i've been wearing the stuff that's like on the rail quite a lot recently so I'm kind of more attached to it I don't know if this is just me but does anyone who's been to Asia just have like 
loads of clothes that you bought in Asia and like they look cute while you're out there and I don't want to get rid of them but at the same time I'm never gonna wear them again unless I go back to Asia which I was meant to be doing but Corona said no they're in the pile look more clothes that I bought in Vietnam I think I do quite like this shirt though I might keep this one just one I'm such a hoarder it's not okay but it's cute you're not gonna see me wearing this probably or maybe you will follow my Instagram and then you'll find out this skirt I absolutely loved for ages but this is not really me. This is not a look. This does not go together. Alright, goodbye skirt. I do actually have quite a big pile of hangers. And the pile of clothes isn't that big. So I feel like overall I've done some thrown out. But I still have the massive pile of swimwear that I have no idea what to do with. So... I really like this bodysuit but I had it for about two years and I think I've worn it once. Bye bye! I only have like three things left on the floor so we are nearly there. The wardrobe, rocking off. Back down low, I emptied the box from under my bed which did have my work clothes in and they're now in the cupboard out of the way I don't really know what I'm going to do with them once I have to go back to work but that's not a problem for today so obviously I've just kind of shoved all the clothes that I chucked out out of the way um, so I could sit here and film this bit and there's a pile of hangers in front of me which is great because we went from having one hanger to having about 30 hangers so that means that I like actually chucked some things out. <laughs> My pretty little thing delivery still hasn't arrived. It's not actually due until tomorrow anyway, so that's fine. But I now have hangers, so when it does arrive, I will actually be able to hang the things up. I do still have the pile of like loungewear and sports stuff and like gym stuff on my bed. But I can't really be bothered to sort that out today. Um, it's been two hours so that's actually not too bad I feel like I've not been as brutal as I want it to be but I have kind of powered through and done it all quite quickly so it's literally just gonna be the bikinis and then we're done so let's go there's literally like that many and I don't need that many so some of these are gonna have to go sorry friends Okay, so the box is about half full, um, which kind of makes me like, ooh, should I buy some more bikinis? But that would kind of defeat the object of this entire decluttering. So I think what I'm going to do instead is sort out my gym clothes that are on the bed um, and put them on the other half. I did manage to get rid of quite a few bikinis. I think I'm actually going to do the gym stuff now because then it's done I can just kind of chuck it in with these and I don't have to think about where I'm going to put it later and like I'll actually be able to sleep tonight rather than just having like a pile of clothes on my bed I don't really know what size these are but I feel like they're not the same size as me and I feel like even if I stretch them a little bit they're not going to fit so goodbye to those shorts and those can go too because I can't be bothered to fold them. Nah. Goodbye. Why do I have three pairs of three quarter length leggings? Like, I do not wear three quarter length leggings unless I can't find any other leggings. Ta da! I actually had a lot less um, gym wear than I thought I did. Completed it. I'm really hungry, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you declutter your wardrobes if I've inspired you I mean I didn't really declutter much but 
I've got rid of some things and it's a lot better organised now. We've got all my summer clothes out and stuff. Bikinis are going to be a lot more accessible. Thanks for watching. I will see you on Saturday.